Hey guys, happy day, whatever, whenever you're watching this. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I'm very thankful that you're coming to join us today. It is going to be a Crock-Pot um, Palooza collab that we have going on every month for the rest of the year. And it's always like towards the end of the month. That way we can provide you with some uh, variations of different Crock-Pots. I am using my Ninja Pudi as it has a Crock-Pot function and I have other recipes that I include here. One is gonna be a meal and one is gonna be a dessert. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Once you're done with my video, be sure to check out the description box. This is a collab, like I said, it is hosted by my friend Tiffany at Small Town 6 and myself here at Jessica Myros. Uh, there will be a playlist for you guys to enjoy and get more inspiration, more recipe ideas that you can start creating for this fall season. So let's go ahead and begin. If you are brand new to my channel, I hope that you consider subscribing. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and see. <laughs> This recipe is gonna be uh, super quick and like um, I have to go to work like in very few minutes so basically is get everything prepped for the ninja foodie to do the rest of the work and this is what we have going so on. I'm just gonna let these thought and they're frozen they're from our um, butcher box and it's a uh, grass-fed beef top uh, sirloin uh, steak and I have two of them um, so there's like four total for uh, the week and we can make these uh, in the grill I'm gonna have my husband uh, season that and do that uh, later on when we're ready for dinner but um, besides that I'm gonna make a pasta with bounce up in it uh, from chickpeas and uh, I'm gonna throw uh, that and put some baby kale there with this and some leftover, leftover uh, soy, soy kutash. Um, it's a mix with sweet corn, shell, edamame, red pepper peppers, and peppers. And so I'm gonna do that. Throw some uh, feta cheese and some of the Victoria uh, marinara right into the ninja foodi and let it cook for four hours. And guess what you guys, so I just found uh, half of the uh, Jamie Bean sausage regular. Uh, I'm gonna just dump a little bit of that on the pasta because why not, right? more flavor and then that's it you guys I'm just gonna set it for slow cooking uh, for four hours and it should be good to go for dinner time all right it is done I just open it up and kind of blend everything in and mix it in um, and it looks ready to go you guys what do you think it smells so so good all right guys so we're gonna use our ninja foodie for baking and um i basically created this recipe you guys inspired by um the uh earth champ plant-based protein powder and making it fall so i use uh one cup of flour and then um uh three-fourths of a cup of sugar and then i also use some pumpkins pie spice um, which you can also actually use uh, pumpkin puree in addition to this but um, I did not have that on hand so I was worried that it might not be so uh, the flavor of pumpkin too much but it was not that bad I actually used one tablespoon of the pumpkin uh, pie spice uh, and it was uh, very very flavorful very very f fall uh, and it smells so good when it was baking, so it worked out just fine. I also use um, half a teaspoon of uh, the baking powder. And uh, like any other recipe, you know that you're supposed to do the dry ingredients first and then the wet ingredients uh, separately. So that's what I was just doing here. Um, 
the Airchimp uh, plant protein base, I have shared with you guys um, in previous videos how much I, I really, really like that. And I just recently got the unflavored plain protein powder, which is a great addition to my baking, a great addition to my cooking because I can actually provide some nutrition and some value to uh, the cooking I make with my family. As you guys know, I love uh, including incorporating some uh, nutrition into whatever I make for them. I also added uh, a little bit of less than a cup uh, the, of the white chocolate chips. And here is the plain uh, plant-based uh, earth chimp protein powder. If you guys are looking to find a really good tasting protein powder, they have vanilla flavor, they have chocolate, and this plate base, which is wonderful for uh, cooking purposes. So I will leave their information on the description box for you guys. I have a discount code that you can take advantage of. They have their shop uh, on Amazon, so be sure to su give some support to small businesses as uh, they work really, really hard. They really great company, great qu quality ingredients, all the great uh, things that you can imagine it, this protein has. I also share this quick recipe uh, written down on my Instagram. So I hope that you guys go check that out over on my Instagram. Follow me along. Um, you know, I share a lot of my content there on a daily basis. And uh, that's a good way to catch up on my day-to-day uh, -day type of thing. I also do a lot of funny things. So it's a, a great way to connect with me as well um, on that area. So now we're moving on to the wet ingredients and mixing that up. Now for the wet ingredients, we're gonna need uh, one quarter of a cup of milk, uh, three tablespoons of oil of your choice, one egg, and uh, like I said, you can add the pumpkin puree here, um, but I did not have that on hand, so we skipped that one. And I did also one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You mix all that up um, after you had already mixed the white ingredients separately, and then you incorporate them all together. As I mentioned, I'm using my Ninja Foodie and I'm using these silicon uh, containers that are really, really great. I highly recommend them, so I'll try to list them below if you are on the market. They're a great purchase. And also, there's the result, you guys. Happy kids, happy mom, knowing that they are receiving some nutrition in this little dessert. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. Be sure to check out the description box for more details on Earthchimp and the playlist. And check out my friend Tiffany. And we'll see you guys on my next video.